I think you guys are going to really love this challenging geometry problem. In fact, I bet you're going to love it so much that you'll want to share it with your significant other on Valentine's Day, which is coming up soon. But honestly, you can share it any day of the year. All right, so let's get started. We're going to draw an irregular star with seven vertices. Our task is to find the sum of all seven angles marked in red. It looks impossible. After all, absolutely no information besides the diagram is provided. So pause the video, take a few minutes to try this on your own, and when you're ready, join me for the solutions. The first method we're going to use is actually pretty cheap, and I would only recommend it on a do or die situation on a multiple choice test if you had no clue how to solve it and you were not required to show your work. We could eyeball the angles as follows. These three appear to be around 30 degrees, and the other four are a bit smaller, say 25 degrees. If we add all seven of these angles up, we get 190 degrees. So clearly, we can get rid of A, B, and C. Those angles are too small. Choice E seems too large, so you could safely and confidently go with 180 degrees, which happens to be the correct answer. But this method is obviously flawed because it's basically a lucky guess. The next method is much improved. Let's consider a special case by turning our irregular figure into a regular heptagonal star. Now all our angles of interest are the same value. The tricky part here is figuring out which shape to focus on. The shape I think is easiest to work with is this highlighted isosceles triangle that has the angles of interest acting as our base angles and the other angle being one of the vertex angles of the interior heptagon. Let's label our angles of interest A and our other angle B. Our goal is to calculate 7A since that would be the sum of all seven angles of interest. Now recall that for a regular polygon, the interior angle, in this case B, is just n minus 2 times 180 over n, where n is the number of sides. So let's set n equal to 7. And when we plug that value into the equation, we get 5 times 180 over 7 for B. Now we'll just say that 2A plus B is 180, since the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. And I'll substitute 5 times 180 over 7 in for B. Since we're actually after the sum of all 7 angles, or 7A, I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 halves. Now carrying out the multiplication of 7 halves, we get 7A plus 450 equals 630. And subtracting 450 from both sides, we're left with 7A equaling 180. Nice! But that result was based on the assumption of a regular heptagonal star. Can we go one step further and show that it's true even for the irregular case? You bet. We'll approach it the same way, except now we'll need to label the angles A through G since they could all be different values. And we'll also give a fresh set of seven variables to the interior angles of the heptagon since they too can all be different. I'll label them T through Z. Just like before, we'll focus on an isosceles triangle with two of our angles of interest and one interior angle of the heptagon. From this highlighted triangle, we get A plus E plus T equals 180. Moving clockwise, we can generate six more equations based on the other six isosceles triangles. Once again, our goal is to get the sum of all seven angles, so let's focus on these seven equations. Let's see what happens if we add them. We would get two copies of A through G, plus seven interior angles of the heptagon, T through Z, all adding up to seven times 180. Let's factor out a two from the first seven terms. And now those seven interior angles of the heptagon, which we labeled T through Z, must have a total sum of n minus 2 times 180, and since n is 7, they add up to 5 times 180. So I can replace all 7 of those variables with 5 times 180. Let's subtract 5 times 180 from both sides. The right side just becomes 2 times 180, and I bet you can guess the final step. Yep, divide both sides by 2. And there you have it, a very nice clean proof 
for the sum of the angles in an irregular heptagonal star. By the way, the exact same line of reasoning we just used can easily be extended for any star with odd vertices. The sum of all its vertex angles will always equal 180 degrees. Let me know in the comments below if you got the answer and if you got it using a different approach. And be sure to subscribe for a new video every week featuring puzzles, problems, applications, and explorations. Thanks for watching and see you soon.